The Dirt Show. Don't complain to me about the people of Gaza being poor. Yeah, they're poor because they're, the funds have gone to rockets instead of to food and to medical care and to education. That's the fault of Hamas and the Hamas leadership. And to the extent that people support that, they're not innocent victims. Uh, I'm not talking about babies or, or people who are not able to participate, but people who support and vote for Hamas and people who allow their houses to be used to launch rockets, they're complicitous. Um, you know, they're not perpetrators like those who fire the rockets, but they're on a continuum uh, and, and closer to perpetrators than they are to innocent uh, victims. Israel goes out of its way uh, to never, ever kill innocent civilians. But when you plant uh, your rockets in the middle of a hospital or in the middle of a mosque, and Israel has a choice, destroy the mosque or have the rockets kill innocent Israelis, would any country choose the mosque over their citizens? Of course not. So you're going to get destruction of mosques. You're going to get some collateral deaths of human shields that Hamas has used. But the idea of creating a moral equivalence, a moral equivalence between people who behead, slaughter, and rape deliberately civilians and those who try to defend themselves and in the process occasionally kill a civilian, uh, it's, it's, it's an abomination to make that kind of comparison. And there isn't a single Jew in the Gaza Strip. Every single Jewish settler left in 2005. There isn't a single Jewish soldier as of now in the Gaza Strip. There will be. Uh, but when all these occurred, the Gaza Strip was not run by Jews. It was not run by, by Israel. In fact, between 2005 and 2007, when Hamas took over, there weren't even controls externally. Once Hamas took over and started firing rockets, into Israel, of course, any democracy would do what Israel did, control the borders, don't let the rockets come in. And of course, Hamas built tunnels under Egypt, under um, Stayrot and areas in Israel, and they smuggled in um, rockets. The money for that was provided by Iran. Um, the Gaza is not an open air concentration camp to the extent that there are any limitations on the freedom of the people of Gaza, it's imposed by Hamas. Look, what Hamas did in Israel and what Hamas is doing in Gaza today is what the Ku Klux Klan, much worse, much worse, the numbers are much higher, but is what the Ku Klux Klan did in the 1930s and 1940s and 1950s. These were lynchings. And tragically, we are likely to see more of them because Hamas has now said they will quote, execute. No, it's not execute, it's murder. They will execute um, individual Israelis. Will they pick the babies first? Will they pick the women first? Will they put the people in wheelchairs the way um, a Palestinian terrorist did? And somebody glorified that by making an opera out of it called Klinghoffer, pushing a, a wheelchair-bound old Jew into the into the ocean in the name of Palestine, in the name of Palestine. If you say in the name of Palestine, you can do anything. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Rhino Workman to get on television and say, oh, yeah, you have to kill a few hostages, uh, maybe even 100 or 200 hostages. It's necessary to liberate Palestine. It's necessary. The ends justify the means.